No, I'm okay, I'm okay. This is the last very important delivery I got two days ago and I haven't even opened it. Can you guess what it is? So leave your guess down below in the comments. You've got 10 seconds. Oh, I can't find any tools at all. Nothing, scheiße. It is such a big mess here. My, my tools are everywhere in the workshop. They are everywhere because I'm... And now it's such a big mess. I need to clean up this garage. Ah, oh, that was my fault. Ah, uh, finally, finally, we got some set screws here, some grub screws or whatever you want to call them. Stainless steel, full thread, M6 by 20, 50 of them. And also uh, nuts, washers and spring washers, all stainless steel. This will replace, this will replace the M6 screw coming with the battery cells, you know, the short one, kind of short one. So we will use these M6 by 20 set screws now. Nice. They've got an Allen key number three insert here on one side. Also, finally, the M6, the M6 ring locks have arrived. After seven weeks, can you imagine this? Seven weeks. I mean, it took them seven weeks to get this little package here from Melbourne up here to Queensland. Seven weeks. Australia Post. What are you thinking? Uh, yeah, so... Well, I've got some... I've got some issues with the battery actually. Sometimes when the battery charges or discharges and I have a low voltage cell or a high voltage cell, I have to tighten these bolts or screws, whatever you want to call it, just a tiny bit. You have to lose it a little bit and then tighten it again and the voltage drop goes away. And everything is fine afterwards. It's not the cell, it's just the connection on the bus bar. Well, unfortunately, I have to take apart the whole battery again, clean up the terminals on the top, clean the bus bars from the underside, and, and smooth this all out. I've got, um, here I've got, and I've got an 800 grit um, sandpaper here. It's a very fine sandpaper, but I will use this one to actually sand, sand down the terminals, the aluminium terminals afterwards. And I also bought a, a metal polishing kit. Yeah, this consists of these two discs here. This, this is actually for, for drills, you know. And it consists of these two discs and also these, um, well, I don't know what to call them. Are they like, like a stone? No, it's more like, well, this is the stuff you need to put on these discs here and then you, you polish your metal. And this is, this is also suitable for um, aluminium stuff. So this one here is like a, like a hemp or, I don't know, some fiber, some type style of situation disc here. And the other one is just a very fine, very fine uh, woolen uh, disc to polish everything off. And this is what these two um, stones are for. So, um, yeah, I probably give this a go and see how this works. Well, I thought before we connect the battery to our solar charge controller back and the new inverter and everything and, and get this all set up as it should be, there's, there's no way around it to take this apart again and polish off these terminals. So I need to spend the whole night, it is already uh, 9 p.m. or something now, but I, I will spend the whole night to get this done tonight, hopefully, get this all polished, cleaned up, and hopefully we can connect the battery and do the final and then do the final snip tomorrow. Okay, let's turn off the main switch here of the battery first. Nothing happens, that's good. And then I probably take out this uh, bridge here over here to have only two 24 volt battery strings then instead of 148. And then I work my way through to every single battery cell take them out, put them here on the bench 
and clean up these uh, terminals, make them really smooth. <sighs> it's a lot of work. Ah, ah, the BMS. The BMS is complaining. I'll, uh, I'll just take out all the balance leads of the BMS. All right, peeps, this is my second battery here. And I'm very happy with the result now, with the machine. I just used this woolen uh, thingy here, this disc here. And this is what it looks like before. It's very hard to capture here in camera. Come on, focus. So that's how it looks like before. And this is how it looks like afterwards. So this is polished now with a disc and it's, it's so smooth, unbelievable. And the same with the bus bars. Yeah, I'll show you two. This is the original one, and this is the one I've done the ends just where the bus, uh, where the uh, terminal sits of the of the cells, and you can probably see the difference. Yeah, you, now you can see it. Good. So this is here, super super polished now, and this is how they come. So this works very well with the machine, and they are super super polished and smooth and straight. Sometimes you can feel this little um, corner here where they where they punched out the holes and everything. Like here, there's like a little like a little hump, and this is all gone here. This is super smooth. You can even see the copper coming out a little bit. Super smooth. So I will keep continuing doing that, polishing all the all the bus bars. Yeah, it just is a whole mess. And then I clean everything off with alcohol and put this crease in between just a tiny, 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 tiny bit. And this is probably all I can do. Okay, I'll keep going. I'll let you know if there's anything important happening in between. Well, and now the battery of the drill is empty as well. So I need to recharge this one. You cannot win. You cannot win. Everything takes forever. But I think this is the way to go. So I'm sanding down the terminals first with the 800 grit sandpaper just in a circular motion and then use this uh, woolen disc here with this white soapy cleaner rock here to, um, to polish the uh, terminals and the result is pretty good. And then afterwards I clean everything off with alcohol and polish the bus bars as well as I have just shown you. So, all right, until this is recharged, I'll just take out all the cells and um, use the sandpaper and grind them down a little bit. Enough work to do for tonight. It is 10.30. It'll be a long night. Oh, well, this looks a bit sad now. Look at the balance leads here, it looks like a fishbone. But yeah, no problem at all to disassemble all the batteries, all the cells here. This all worked fine. So um, I can take out this board here with all the balance, uh, with the BMS and the smart shunt and the fuse as designed. And as you suggested, I probably will connect my smart shunt positive here directly to the battery. So if I turn off the main switch of the battery, the smart shunt will still get power from the battery here. So it doesn't erase all the data, all the history of it. This is a good tip. Actually, I like this idea as well. When you turn off this main switch, it turns off the smart shunt, it turns everything off. But the smart shunt should stay alive with a positive to keep the history. And then probably I need to clean this out here again a little bit getting dusty inside. So let me see if I can actually come this close with a camera to this terminal here. I can show you all the... and see this hole there? This is exactly from one of the probes here when you measure the voltage and you poke it into the aluminium it makes these little holes here, these little craters and you can, yeah, you can really feel that there's a hole just sticks in there. See and all these scratches here they're all they've got this rough surface anyway these terminals you can see the, how easy they scratch. And all these micro scratches there they obviously make a bad 
connection to the bus bar. And I'm sure this is not even the worst one here because this is the Vancouver delivery, the second delivery I had and I didn't do much with these battery cells here. But still they look like sh**. <laughs> Cut off a little bit of sandpaper, just enough to cover your wooden block and also have these wings left and right so you can hold the paper and then just push this into the hole and then twist it like this and you're staying straight and 90 degree angle to the actual set screw. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like the sandpaper situation here. It looks really scratched now and um, this one is still shiny and reflecting but this one is matte and scratched everywhere. So I don't think we are actually making any progress here. Uh, no, it feels the same. Doesn't make any difference at all. Okay, let's try the machine tool. Okay, I made a big mess now. I have used this uh, woolen disc before here to actually polish the, the terminal. Well, it didn't didn't really work or so I thought. So I took the other one here, the bit uh, rougher one, and polished it. So I think it's just like a, like a sanding stone situation here. So you actually apply this to the disc here and then go over the terminal with it. But it makes a lot of mess and everything. But I couldn't really find that it is really smooth. They are getting a little bit of blind now, so they are not reflecting anymore. And I thought, well, if it's not reflecting anymore, it's actually more scratched than before. They feel very smooth. I probably, um, and then I tried, I tried these rotating discs here on the bus bar and they are getting really smooth. So I think the machine rotating discs here, they are just not made for these small areas here. This is just too small, I think. Well, the bus bar here gives it enough area to work correctly. This is, uh, I think they are using these ones here for car rims and everything to polish them really, to clean them up and if you have little scratches or something in there, this takes out all of the scratches and then you use this other disc here to polish everything again afterwards. And I thought this would be um, working here on these terminals as well, but it doesn't actually. So I'm not really, um, well I'm not too, well I'm not too happy about these results now. It's all black on the plastic now. So I think if you just use a little bit of sandpaper here and clean this up in a circular way, this gets rid of all the deeper scratches and smooths out the surface. And this should be enough. I tried also with this um, block, but if you don't drill 100% straight into this block here, uh, the actual wood is not straight. It's not 90 degree angle on the surface and well it doesn't work correctly then. So this was a fail as well. A lot of fails tonight really. And I think this is already enough to smooth out the... I don't know, I need to clean this up. So I'm using some alcohol on a rag here. I should probably drink this actually. That's how good everything works tonight. Amazing. If you want to get shit done quickly, hey? Well, I don't know if it looks worse or... Yeah, see, you can hear that. It is like a, like a record, you know? I've, I've got this round, like... Um... So the, the, the surface of these terminals, they are almost look like this um, zigzag thingy here. And this is exactly what you can hear when you use your fingernail and just go over it and well we don't have this anymore this is actually gone and then you cl should clean this up ah, this is a very time-consuming task to send these um, terminals down and some of them have so deep scratches it's unbelievable even after sanding it for uh, for two minutes or so you can still see little um, craters and humps and scratches, really deep scratches in there. I also would probably not recommend 600 grit sandpaper 
800 seems to be better. 600 is a bit rough and you're probably making more scratches than actually you actually remove. Okay, battery has now charged and I start polishing 32 terminals. It'll be a long night. 11.30 p.m. So, this was the first one I did. And I perfectly polished this terminal here. Uh, probably you can see the reflection and everything. And this is super, super smooth and, and reflecting and everything. I cannot get any of the other terminals like this. I don't know what I did with this one to make it like this, but it's not working with the other ones. I'll try it with pressure, I'll try it with almost no pressure with this brush here, and it's not gonna work. I don't know why not. And I've got another 28 terminals to do. And I can't get them right. What is shit? There, there. Look how reflecting it is. Super, super reflecting. And these ones are not. I don't know why not. See, this is full of scratches here, micro scratches everywhere. That looks terrible. Uh, it's almost 12 o'clock. And I'm not making much progress at the moment. It'll be a long night. There's a lizard on the outside of the window. You can see it from the underside. <laughs> He's chasing bugs and insects. Okay, I'm not making any progress with this polishing situation here at all. I, regardless what I do, I cannot get these as shiny as the first one I did. I don't know if this one is probably buggered now and I need a new woolen whatever disc situation here. I, I cannot get these as shiny as the first one. So I don't know what's going on here. I probably call it a night now. It's quarter past 12 a.m. And I probably watch a YouTube video tomorrow morning and see how this all works with the polishing stuff here. I don't know. It's getting far too late and I'm not getting anywhere. I was hoping to finalize all the batteries tonight so I can reconnect everything tomorrow morning and then, oh, just got something, got a bug. Now you've got frogs and lizards. Yeah, well, I don't know. Probably there's a very easy solution for all of this and you will leave this all in your comments down below. But then it will be too late because the video is already posted and, and I have found out somehow how this all works or maybe not, I don't know. So. Anyway, leave your comments down below how to polish these terminals correctly to make them nice and shiny. It it kind of works with the um, with the bus bars here, but not with the terminals. I think this is just not enough area here to polish it correctly. You can see you're, you're scratching the, the plastic outside of the terminal all the time and it, it gets really dirty and, and everything and I don't know. I don't like this. This is, this is not good. <laughs>